The one big message of the Haryana result is that Brand Modi and the BJP election machine are well and truly back and firing on all cylinders. After a fiery speech at the Victory Bash in Delhi on Tuesday, the Prime Minister unleashed a fresh attack on the Congress, accusing the party of trying to divide Hindus and attempting to create anarchy in the country. Here's more. Modi ji ko Jai Shri Ram. Modi ji ko Jai Shri Ram. Swagat hai, bhai, swagat hai. Haryana and Jammu and Kashmir results have scripted a dramatic twist in the national political story. Modi ji ko Jai Shri Ram. With the Haryana hurricane, the message is clear. Modi's BJP remains India's most formidable election machine. With its mojo back, Team Modi has got a super boost. The Prime Minister himself taking on the Congress. After his fiery speech at the BJP headquarters on Tuesday, the Prime Minister, while inaugurating and laying the foundation stones for development projects in Maharashtra, opened a new front against the Congress. Haryana ki janta ne dikha diya, wo ab कांग्रेस और अर्बन नक्सल के नफरती षडयंत्रों का शिकार नहीं होने वाले कांग्रेस हमेशा बांटो और सत्ता पाओ के फॉर्मूले पर चली है कांग्रेस ने बार बार ये सिद्ध किया है कि वो एक गैर जिम्मेदार दल बन गया है Countering the Congress's caste census call, the Prime Minister is now accusing the party of trying to divide the Hindus. Muslim Jatiyon ki baat aate hi, Congress ke neta par moong par taala laga kar baiht jate hai. Lekin jab bhi Hindu samaj ki baat aati hai, to Congress unki charcha jati se hi shuru karti hai. Congress ki niti hai, हिंदुओं की एक जाति को दूसरी जाति से लड़ाओ कांग्रेस जानती है कि जितना हिंदू बटेगा उतना ही उसका फायदा होगा कांग्रेस किसी भी तरीके से हिंदू समाज में आग लगाए रखना चाहती है the Prime Minister also had this taunt for the Congress that had been claiming that since the 2024 general election results, the Modi government had been weakened. Haryana ne bata diya hai, desh ka mood kya hai, Congress ka pura ecosystem, urban naksal ka pura giro, janta ko gumrah karne mein juta tha. लेकिन कांग्रेस की सारी साजी से ध्वस्त हो गई दलितों को एहसास हो गया कि कांग्रेस उनका आरक्षण छीनकर अपने वोट बैंक को बांटना चाहती है हरियाणा के किसान बीजेपी की किसान कल्याण योजनाओं से खुश है कांग्रेस ने युवाओं को टारगेट किया और अलग-अलग तरीके से उन्हें भड़काने की कोशिश की, लेकिन हरियाणा के नौजवान, हमारी बहनें, बेटियां अपने उज्जवल भविष्य के लिए भाजपा पर ही भरोसा कर रहे हैं। राहुल गांधी, on the other hand, broke his silence on the Haryana results on Wednesday, saying that his party was analyzing the unexpected showing in the state and that it will inform the election commission about the complaints coming in from many assembly constituencies. असलियत यह है कि प्रधानमंत्री जी अपने ऊपर जो आक्षेप लगते हैं उनको लगता है वो दूसरों पर लगा सकते हैं इस देश को बांटने का काम नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने उनकी पार्टी ने और उनकी सरकार ने किया है इस देश को जोड़ने का काम लगातार कांग्रेस पार्टी कर रही है आगे भी करेगी एक हरियाणा का चुनाव किसी तरह से जीत लिया तो इस तरह से दम भर रहे हैं अरे हरियाणा में कैसे जीती है बीजेपी ये जग जाहिर हो चुका है इसलिए ज्यादा जीत पर इतराएं नहीं और समाज को बांटने का काम ना करें। With crucial elections in Maharashtra, Jharkhand and Delhi next, 
the state of war is well and truly on. Bureau Report, India Today. The Prime Minister's big attack at the Congress came as he was unveiling development projects for Maharashtra. The fierce speech has set the tone for the upcoming assembly elections. The NDA Alliance Mahayuti has declared it will win the state of war for Maharashtra. How will the Haryana and Jammu and Kashmir results impact Maharashtra? Take a look at the potential scenarios. Bharat Mata Ki Bharat Mata Ki Bharat Mata Ki Modi radiating his signature mojo. Five months after the sobering Lok Sabha results, the Haryana victory putting the BJP firmly back on the front foot. The party could not have asked for a better kickoff for the next state battle, Maharashtra. For starters, the BJP now radiates battle readiness. BJP is back to its winning ways, having pulled off a record victory in an election nearly everyone saw as a lost cause. Second, the BJP now looks firmly in control, effectively ending perceptions that it is on a shaky ground post the Lok Sabha setback. Third, rampant suggestions that the Modi BJP had lost its invincibility sheen are looking more like wishful thinking now. Modi ji ka, main baut baut abhinandan karta hoon. Sach moch, jeet ho to aisi ho. Exit poll ke aakade dekh kar, Congress ke loog jale bhi baatne lage te. Unke man mein laddu phut rahe te. Lekin aakhir kaar, unke ahankar ka gubara, Fourth, the results affirm that Narendra Modi is still the tallest commander-in-chief in the political space. A man who has turned his party around in a mere five months to pull off a miracle victory. Lok Sabha cha nirvanu ki nantar bhi sangit lo ta ki aami virodhi paksha shi har lo nae. जे हरियाणा मध्ये घडलं तेच महाराष्ट्रा मध्ये येत्या नोव्हेंबर महिन्यामध्ये घडलेलं आपल्याला पाहायला मिळणार आहे फिफ्थ द परसेप्शन टेबल्स टर्न नाउ इन महाराष्ट्र द रूलिंग बीजेपी लेड महायुती कोलिशन गेट्स अ बिग बूस्टर इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्रेडिबिलिटी एंड स्टेबिलिटी While the Maha Vikas Agari, which had been taunting its ruling rivals, now looks cracked and bickering. Haryana Tlaya Nikala Cha Kuntai Parna Maharashtra Var Honar Nahi. Maharashtra Madhe Shiva Sena, Rashtavadi Congress, Anik Congress, Shet Tikanchi Maha Vikas Agari Ahej. Ani Thhe Uddho Thakre Sahib, Ani Madhani Sharad Paar Sahiban Sarkar Nitrutva, Thhe Jagru Kaya. Sixth. The Congress loses all bargaining power in the Agadi and can probably forget making demands, including recent demands on CM face. Seventh, every state election has its unique landscape, but the win in Haryana will no doubt reflect in electorate faith in the BJP. Eight, the open infighting in the Mahavikas Agadi gives the BJP a juicy opportunity to amplify cracks in the opposition coalition. Ninth, the capital markets could now be looking to factor in a strong rebound for the BJP in Maharashtra after the hat trick in Haryana and strong showing in Jammu. And finally, tenth. Negative expectations for the BJP regarding Maharashtra outcome are being reset. Political continuity and stability could contribute to the BJP's momentum going into this big battle in India's richest state. For now, it's game on. 
ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे What impact will the results from Haryana and Jammu and Kashmir have on the battle for Maharashtra and Jharkhand to what extent does congress lose its confidence and to what extent can an energized uh, bolstered bjp now try and control the election narrative and agenda joining us on this podcast i want to welcome first ajay alok national spokesperson of the bhartiya janata party squaring off against him uh, from the congress uh, we've got sujata paul uh, we have sanjay jha joining us from mumbai and rajat sethi joins us as well and i have uh, sanjay singh rajya sabha member of parliament of the aam aadmi party joining me on this podcast i want to go across to sanjay ji first sanjay ji how much of a factor do you think up and the congress not allying was responsible for the defeat of the congress party in haryana aap logo ne koshish ki ki alliance ho wo nahi hua aam aadmi party ke anklan mein congress ki haar ke piche kitna bada karan tha dekhiye do tasveer bilkul samne hai ek jammu kashmir ki aur dusri haryana ki jammu kashmir mein national conference aur congress party saath mein chunav ladi और जम्मू कश्मीर में वहां पे उनको जीत हासिल हुई हरियाणा में कांग्रेस पार्टी और आम आदमी पार्टी अलग अलग चुनाव लड़ी हमने बहुत प्रयास किया अपनी ओर से कि गठबंधन हो जाए और जो 10 साल के एंटी इनकम्बेंसी का फैक्टर है जो कुशासन है भारतीय जनता पार्टी का उसके खिलाफ जनता के बीच में हम लोग जाए और इनको चुनाव में शिकस्त दें पराजित करें लेकिन उसके लिए कांग्रेस पार्टी तैयार नहीं हुई अब इसकी समीक्षा कांग्रेस पार्टी को करनी है वो तय करेंगे कि कहां कहां उनसे कमियां रह गई क्योंकि ये भी बात सामने आ रही है कि लगभग सत्रह सीटें ऐसी हैं जहां पे कांग्रेस के बागी उम्मीदवार खड़े हो गए निर्दलीय के तौर पे और वो सीटें भी वो लोग हारे हैं और ये भी निकल के सामने आया कि भाई इंडिया गठबंधन में सिर्फ हमें एक सीट मिली थी लोकसभा में लेकिन वोट प्रतिशत जो था वो इंडिया गठबंधन को फोर्टी था सैतालीस वोट लोकसभा में मिले थे तो आ, मैं समझता हूं कि आ, कई प्रकार की रणनीति चुनाव में होती है कई बार आपको अपने सहयोगी दलों के साथ मिलकर चुनाव लड़ना होता है क्या हो जाता है अगर मान लीजिए आज 90 सीटों पे कांग्रेस पार्टी लड़ी उनकी 35 सीटें आई 55 सीटें तो हारे ना अगर पांच चार पांच सीटें आप अपने सहयोगी दलों को दे देते आम आदमी पार्टी को या अखिलेश यादव जी को तो हो सकता है इंडिया गठबंधन की साठ सत्तर सीटें आती प्रचंड बहुमत से वहां पे सरकार बनती इंडिया गठबंधन की मुख्यमंत्री तो कांग्रेस का ही बनना था सरकार तो कांग्रेस पार्टी के ही नेतृत्व में बनती राहुल गांधी ने तो कहा था कि अलायंस होना चाहिए थोड़ी इनसाइड स्टोरी बताइए कि आखिरकार अलायंस क्यों नहीं हुआ कांग्रेस के नेताओं से जब मैं पूछता हूँ हरियाणा से जो आते हैं वो कह रहे हैं कि आम आदमी पार्टी बेतुकी मांगे कर रही थी पंद्रह से बीस सीटें मांग रही थी अनरिजनेबल बन रही थी उन्होंने कहा कि पंद्रह से बीस सीटें हम कहा देते ये आपका स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट था जब आपने निगोशिएट किया तब भी उनके हिसाब से आपकी डिमांड आपकी हैसियत से बहुत ज्यादा थी ये सब ये सब ये सब बिल्कुल बेबुनियाद बातें हैं ये सब मैं आपको सिर्फ इतना ही कह सकता हूं कि ये सब बिल्कुल बिना सिर पैर की बेबुनियाद बातें हैं कि पंद्रह सीटें मांग रहे थे और बीस सीटें मांग रहे थे ये बिल्कुल गलत बात है बल्कि जब बातचीत बिल्कुल अंतिम दौर में पहुंच गई उसके बाद तो फोन ही उठाना बंद कर दिया इन लोगों ने बातचीत तो बिल्कुल अंतिम दौर तक पहुंची थी आपके हिसाब से हरियाणा में जो रिजल्ट आया उसका महाराष्ट्र और झारखंड के चुनावों पर क्या असर पड़ेगा जो कि दिल्ली के विधानसभा चुनावों से पहले होने वाले नहीं अगर वहां पे अपना गठबंधन करके ठीक से चुनाव लड़ेंगे तो निश्चित रूप से जीतेंगे लोकसभा में देखा ना आपने भाई जिस पार्टी के सिंबल छीन लिए गए थे मसाल सिंबल पर उद्धव ठाकरे जी लड़े और वो आ, आ, शरद पवार जी का भी सिंबल बदल गया था फिर भी जीते ना तीस के लगभग सीटें इकतीस सीटें लगभग जीते इंडिया गठबंधन के लोग और हम तो एक भी सीट पे चुनाव नहीं लड़ रहे थे फिर भी केजरीवाल साहब महाराष्ट्र में प्रचार करने के लिए गए थे तो इसीलिए झारखंड भी प्रचार करने के लिए गए थे वहां भी हम चुनाव नहीं लड़ रहे थे हमारा मकसद अगर भारतीय जनता पार्टी को शिकस्त देना है भारतीय जनता पार्टी की नफरत की राजनीति को रोकना है भारतीय जनता पार्टी की विपक्ष को खत्म करने की राजनीति को रोकना है तो आपको एकजुट होना पड़ेगा मिलकर लड़ना पड़ेगा ना आप देखें ना अगर केजरीवाल साहब प्रचार करने जाते 
हरियाणा के अंदर तो उसका निश्चित रूप से लाभ होता कांग्रेस पार्टी को अखिलेश यादव जी जाते उसका लाभ होता इस इस दी आम आदमी पार्टी विलिंग फॉर एन अलायंस विद कांग्रेस इन दिल्ली क्या आप दिल्ली में अलायंस करने को तैयार हैं कांग्रेस पार्टी से 10 साल की एंटी इनकम्बेंसी आपके खिलाफ है कांग्रेस का वोट शेयर पिछले असेंबली इलेक्शन में 5 परसेंट के आसपास आ गया था अगर थोड़ा सा भी बढ़ता है कांग्रेस का वोट शेयर तो वो सीधे आपसे कटेगा क्योंकि आपने ही कांग्रेस का वोट शेयर ओरिजिनली लिया था और ऐसे में बीजेपी को फायदा हो सकता है देखिए केजरीवाल साहब के सामने भारतीय जनता पार्टी के पास कोई चेहरा नहीं है और ये हम पिछले तीन चुनाव से ट्रेंड देखते आ रहे हैं कि दिल्ली विधानसभा के चुनाव में लोग अरविंद केजरीवाल के नाम पे आम आदमी पार्टी के नाम पे फ्री बिजली पानी शिक्षा स्वास्थ्य के मुद्दे पे वोट करते हैं पहली बार हमें 28 सीट मिली तब 32 सीट बीजेपी की थी कांग्रेस की आठ सीट थी दो में हमें सड़सठ सीट मिली बीजेपी तीन पे पहुंच गई कांग्रेस जीरो हो गई 2020 में हमें बासठ सीट मिली बीजेपी को आठ सीट मिली कांग्रेस फिर जीरो हो गई 2022 2000 अभी 25 के चुनाव में आप ऐसे ही रिजल्ट की उम्मीद कीजिए और हम लोग अकेले लड़ेंगे विधानसभा का चुनाव और आप देखिएगा जैसे एक तरफा आम आदमी पार्टी के पक्ष में नतीजे आए वो आएंगे जो हरियाणा के बारे में कहा गया वो दिल्ली के बारे में भी तो कहा जा सकता है कि अगर आप कांग्रेस के साथ मिलकर लड़े तो आपके ज्यादा बेहतर चांसेस हैं क्योंकि 10 साल की एंटी इनकम्बेंसी आपके खिलाफ है क्या आप सीधे सीधे ये कह रहे हैं कि कांग्रेस से कोई भी करार नहीं हो सकता क्योंकि जो दलित मुस्लिम बस्ती वोट है लोकसभा चुनाव का जब हम एनालिसिस करते हैं तो कुछ हद तक वो कांग्रेस के पास गया है खासतौर से उन सीटों पर जहां पर कांग्रेस के उम्मीदवार थे लोकसभा इलेक्शन में अगर वो रिपीट हो जाता है असेंबली इलेक्शन में तो फर्स्ट पास द पोस्ट सिस्टम में तो बीजेपी निकल जाएगी और बीजेपी तो बहुत खुश होगी कि कांग्रेस और आम आदमी पार्टी अलग अलग ये चुनाव लड़े देखिए देखिए ऐसा है कि लोकसभा के चुनाव में कांग्रेस पार्टी विधानसभा में जीरो थी बावजूद इसके हमने उनको तीन सीटें दी लोकसभा के चुनाव में तीन सीटें जबकि उनकी जीरो सीट थी विधानसभा में लेकिन विधानसभा का चुनाव हम पिछले तीन बार से अकेले लड़ते आ रहे हैं और सरकार बनाते आ रहे हैं और कांग्रेस हर बार लड़ी है चुनाव इस बार भी कांग्रेस पार्टी लड़ सकती है हर जगह चुनाव तो इसलिए हम विधानसभा का चुनाव अकेले लड़ते आ रहे हैं जीतते आ रहे हैं सरकार बनाते आ रहे हैं और इस बार भी आपको जो 2015 और 20 का परिणाम था ऐसा ही परिणाम देखने को मिलेगा संजय सिंह दे राज्यसभा एमपी वन ऑफ द की स्ट्रेटेजिस्ट फॉर द आम आदमी पार्टी ज्वाइनिंग आस ऑन द न्यूज ट्रैक थैंक यू सर फॉर टेकिंग आवर टाइम रियली अप्रिशिएट दिस बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपका संजय सिंह जी I want to now throw open the debate to uh, other speakers. What impact does the result of uh, Jharkhand, of uh, Haryana, and Jammu and Kashmir have on Jharkhand and Maharashtra? I haven't heard from Sanjay Jha, so I'll go across to Sanjay Jha first. You know, you were expecting, as many in the Congress uh, ecosystem were, that the Congress would win Haryana. It's come as a big blow. You won in uh, Jammu and Kashmir, but that's largely riding pillion on the national conference. in your assessment what impact does haryana and jammu and kashmir have on the battle for maharashtra and jharkhand uh rahul good evening uh first and foremost i don't think the bjp won haryana i think the congress lost it uh mr modi can go to town claiming victory because you know it, the the bjp has been in a very desperate position after june 2024 and a drowning man has a right to clutch at a straw and suddenly pretend to be the king on the throne but the truth is the congress blew it and we'll talk about it during your program uh the jammu and kashmir result uh, is something that mr modi should talk about because the bjp got zero seats in the kashmir valley and his vote share was below 10% which is hardly a manifestation of a successful uh, kashmir integration policy that should have happened after the abrogation of article 370 to answer your question on the impact i do believe that the impact is usually going to be felt on the confidence and the morale of the people who fight the elections one is the candidates but more important the workers at the ground level i can tell you rahul that dynamics as you rightly mentioned in the introduction of your program are very different state to state that's a beauty of india in in maharashtra for example there is a lot of anger against mr fadnavis's government on the way it was first uh, rather on the shinde government on the way it was first curated 
you know, with all the Operation Lotus and so on and so forth. More importantly, the way businesses have moved away from Maharashtra to Gujarat and of course, a very ineffective and incompetent government. So I think the big lesson for the Congress here is that please do not make the same mistakes that you made in Haryana, which is to get into this conversation about who will be the chief minister even before the voting has started. I mean, that was clear arrogance for which the party has paid a huge price. In Maharashtra, fortunately, it is going to be a coalition. And with Mr. Pawar and Mr. Uddhav Thakri as well, I think there will be a sobering effect for each one of them to okay. not get... So pause that for a moment. Ajay Alok, respond to what Sanjay Jha is saying. A, Haryana has a sobering effect. The Congress was flying high after the verdict of the 4th of June. They've now been brought down to Mother Earth, which means they're likely to be more reasonable, less arrogant, more accommodative, which could potentially mean that ma some of the mistakes they made in Haryana, they may not make in Maharashtra. And therefore, the opposition camp would like to believe uh, that they will learn from Haryana and fight tougher in Maharashtra, making life more complicated for you. How do you assess the impact of Haryana and Jammu and Kashmir on Maharashtra and Jharkhand? Ajay Alu. First of all, Sanjay is a close friend, <clears throat> so I don't mind him doing uh, daydreamings and all about Maharashtra and other states. He has a right to do so. As far as Kashmir goes, let me correct you, Sanjay, that uh, we, are the we have the largest vote share in Jammu and Kashmir, 25.8, even more than NC, who has what more seats. What is left with Congress in Jammu and Kashmir? You are piggy-tailing national conference like you do with other parties in other states. Like you are piggy tailing Samajwadi Party in UP, RJD in Bihar, DMK in Tamil Nadu, and now NC in Jammu and Kashmir. You just got only six seats, man. You were not able to save security deposit in the most of your seats, what you fought in Jammu and Kashmir. And today you are congratulating people of Jammu and Kashmir of making a government. And when Omar Abdullah himself says that if you have fought without the Congress, you would have won more seats. But anyway, we have to form government with Congress. Go ahead, let's see what, what uh, holds in future for you in Jammu and Kashmir. Now, as far as Maharashtra goes, again, let me remind you, yesterday when results started pouring in, there was a battery of commentary from Shiv Sena, Udav Thakre, right from their Raj Sabha MP to Sanjay Rawat, and everything, everything was said against Congress. Congress also replied back in the equal way. We have seen what Tasin Punawala said, that what Udav Thakre holds, he holds nothing, whatever votes he has got because of the Congress, all the Muslim votes got. So, I don't have any problem in the contradiction what you are having in Maharashtra. That's not my problem. What I would like to say, Rahul, that we have not defeated Congress. We are a grassroots party who works on the ground level at the booth. And we have defeated the narrative, the ecosystem of the Congress party, which became activated three months before the Lok Sabha election, and it continued till now. We have defeated that ecosystem. That is the most important thing. Congress was never in fight. All the exit polls showing that we are going haywire, we are going to get 15, 20, 25. We were not at all worried. Neither the chief minister, nor are in charge, nor any one of us. Because we knew that we are going to win Haryana. Even on the exit poll with you, I said that we will form the government. I won't tell you the number. But we are going to form the government. We were so confident. Because we were on the ground. Okay. But what we were doing, we were trying to defeat this ecosystem of the Congress, which comprises battery of things, like spokesperson, TV channels, experts, analysts, Editorial writing, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everything they built. Okay. An ecosystem. You know, because Sujata Paul, BJP, one of the opposition charges the in the build-up to the Lok Sabha elections was that the machine was against you. You know, whether it is, say, the narrative, the public mood, you allege mainstream media, you said influencers, that they were anti-opposition or anti-Congress, and you got your 99 seats despite that. But in Haryana everything was in your favor. You know, Ajay Alok talks about editorial writers, opinion makers, pundits, pollsters, the hawa, the mahal, the narrative, all that was in your favor. If after all of that, you still, still couldn't beat the BJP, then when the BJP is now confident, the hawa has turned, the mahal has changed, does that then mean that, do you accept that Maharashtra and Jharkhand are therefore that much tougher for the Congress against the BJP than Jharkhand, than, than Haryana? The BJP should remember that they are piggy-tailing or rather using the crutches of uh, the JDU and CDP at the center. 
And as far as the uh, the BJP win in Haryana is uh, is concerned, more than 60% votes have gone against the BJP. Of course, some of them have got divided, and we need to look into that. However, if you remember earlier on also, whenever Haryana has voted, it has voted completely in favor of one particular party, which did not happen this time. So if they think that they have uh, you know, made a great uh, win over here, a great comeback, they need to explain why is it that they had to remove Mr. Khattar. Ma'am, all that doesn't matter. Sujata Paul, wake up and smell yes. the coffee. No, no, Whether I they change, well, Listen, it's a, it. well, one second, ma'am, ma please hear me. It's a cricket match. If they want to change their captain, they can. If they want to change their MLAs and bring new players in, they can. In the end, the question is, who won the World Cup for Haryana? The answer to that is that the BJP led by uh, Prime Minister Modi has won the World Cup for Haryana and you lost. Now, whether they changed their captain, didn't change their captain, changed their MLAs, didn't, it doesn't matter. Jo jita wahi Sikandar. Exactly. Jo jita wahi Sikandar. Is liye, NC and uh, uh, Congress party, if they went into elections together in Jammu and Kashmir, we formed the government. It is not the BJP. No matter how many votes you've got, how many seats you've got, the fact is that you won one state and we won the other. So uh, let's, let's just uh, maintain some decorum. However, when the Prime Minister attacked the Congress party, because that's the only thing that he can do, and he has not been able to uh, you know, recover from uh, the kind of mandate that he got in the Lok Sabha elections, that is why he uses a government program to attack the Congress party. Ma'am, can I pause he you for a second to make the point that. that you're very excited about your victory in uh, Jammu and Kashmir? Just look at the number of seats won by the National Conference and look at the strike rate of the Congress in Jammu. We are having a serious conversation here. You have won only because the NC carried you through and in the valley the seats that you won is largely the NC vote which uh, helped you convert those seats. In Jammu where you fought on your own, you put up an abysmal fight. NC was publicly and off record talking about how the Congress didn't come to the party, didn't fight hard enough, didn't try hard enough. That is the political reality. None of the organizational changes or the ground level changes which are required to rebuild a new Congress have been made. After the 4th of June, you were just getting carried away, flying high, and the voters of Haryana have cut you to size. That's the political reality, ma'am. I am going to take, uh, take your words and present it back to you, Jojita okay. Sikandar. All these things, all these factors are going to be looked into. We are definitely going to see what better could have been done, where we went wrong, but where things are wrong, we will ask questions also. Nobody is going to tell us in, our, in a democracy that you cannot ask questions. As far as Maharashtra is concerned, we are going at the battle full throttle. And you will see that the government that was brought down by the BJP, no less, and the kind of, uh, the, the kind of spectacle they made out of the MLAs at that point of time, from Guwahati to Gujarat to Goa, that is going to be punished by the people of Maharashtra. And you are punishing okay. that so let, let me go across to Rajat Sethi now. Rajat, right? now there are two political realities. Voters in Maharashtra and Jharkhand aren't necessarily influenced by the result of Haryana or Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, the leaders, the workers may be. Obviously, BJP the workers will feel enthusiastic. The leaders will be more charged up. But the voters are obviously concerned about local issues. The second thing is a more sober, chastened Congress may actually be a deadlier Congress because if they are flying high, they are unreasonable on the negotiating table, asking for more seats than they are worth. Once they've been cut to size, the Congress is sober, and we saw a sober Congress in the 2024 Lok Sabha elections in a state like Maharashtra with PM Modi on the ticket himself was still able to uh, get the better of uh, the Mahayuti. And therefore, the Mahavikas Agadi can argue that with the Congress now on Mother Earth, they may be able to learn from Haryana and fight better and harder. Rahul, I think... The problem is of time. Congress party uh, is clearly stunned. They are shocked and they don't know right now what should be their reaction and how can they actually turn the direction of their ship in a very, very short period of time. And I think that is where the real challenge of the Congress comes uh, is going to be. Right now, they are in a rondu mood. They are picking up issues where they know that it will not reach to a logical conclusion. You're picking up the EVM issues. You're picking up uh, arithmetic-related issues. 
you're not forward looking and i don't know how much time are they going to waste on you know carrying on this thing that oh we won the election or you know the vote share is this and that you hardly have any time i think in a, any day from now one or two days the election commission is going to announce elections for jharkhand and for maharashtra in this short period of time how do you swiftly change your strategy is going to be the biggest challenge and look at what is happening with the mahavikas agadi in maharashtra there were this slew of leaders from the ut who were looking to jump ship and go into uh, the mahavikas agadi be it sharad pawar or with congress or with ubt the problem is all of that has stopped you are not seeing that uh, uh, you know that queue of leaders no but now you are also doing mahal the, baji you uh, don't know if it stopped it didn't happen today well, but it I mean, may still happen today, now, now this is rajat sethi trying to do some narrative baji you don't know no, we are hoping it has stopped that. but you don't know for I mean, sure they were all waiting they were all sure? waiting for the shrad period to get over for making that switch now the shrad over the bigger shrad has started for the congress party which is haryana now what to no, okay sanjay ja respond shrad, to this seriously i know for, for you know we did the conclave in maharashtra i know on good authority that there were leaders from the eknath shinde sena uh, there were leaders from the ajit pawar faction who were looking to go back to the mothership or to one of the mva uh, constituents now rajat sethi and those in the bjp will argue that that will stop that the mahal has turned that narratives you know haryana happened despite bjp not having the narrative the charge that people like you made is that ye media social media influencers a mahal banate hai isliye jeet jati hai in haryana the entire mahal was against them and yet they won so when the mahal is against them if they win then when the pitch is more favorable to them what happens then yeah so rahul here is the point that at the moment and and i'm saying so not because i'm a congress party supporter or anything of that kind the mva is clearly ahead in the race in how do you know that mean you have no empirical so, evidence for that no you know exactly no but i'm also going by what some sephologists have talked about in terms of their predictions yeah, you didn't know comment. what was happening in yeah, haryana yeah, exactly. when yeah, the exactly. results that came out were the opposite i now you know my exactly. level of faith, I, i'm a big believer in data but my level of faith post haryana in cephology yeah. just one notch lesser than it was earlier yeah i i agree with you on that as well but at least let me put it across like this my own personal perception on meeting a lot of people is there seems to be a big talk of change in the air now here is the point i believe and i remain an eternal optimist that sometimes is good to lose a semi final to win a final the congress has to be smart here the mistakes in haryana you can justify all of it if you turn around the corner in the second largest state after uttar pradesh rahul i believe maharashtra is going to be the real game changer going forward because this is the commercial capital this is the entertainment capital it's a critical state and here is the thing i'm going to say so on your program what i wrote in my indian express article yesterday the mahavikas agari should publicly say that uddhav thakare will be our chief ministerial face so where face. is the congress willing to say it they're not willing to say it but exactly the point why i'm saying so on your program and i do hope congress leaders recognize it this is not the time for being petty parochial and doing this you know kind of very uh, petty games it's time to rise let above let me put that, that question straight to sujata paul now here is something coming from a well meaning congress sympathizer are you willing to declare uddhav thakre who is by no question uh, the tallest leader in the mv are you willing to declare him your chief ministerial candidate Rahul, you know these are decisions which will be taken by our party, and of course, it is not just the Congress party which is going into elections alone. It is the Maha Vikas Agari. So all of us are going to be sitting. Our leaders are going to decide, and uh, you never know. We we'll just have to wait and watch. No, but here's the thing. We'll do the Ajay Alok, here's that, uh, the thing. The What the Congress, when they were flying high, post the fourth of June, and thinking they're winning Haryana, was not willing to do. now that the congress has been brutally cut to size and shell shocked in haryana their leadership may be more willing to concede and therefore tactical announcements like potentially announcing udav thakre as the chief ministerial face asking for lesser tickets being more reasonable all that can now happen because of the hammering they got in haryana ajay hello well it's their problem what they are going to do in ma vikas agadi Yeah, 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 Rahul. I'm telling you, it's their problem. What they are going to do in Mahavika Sagadi, whom they are going to declare, they are not going to declare. It's none of our concern. What I'm seeing, I really have a lot of empathy towards Congress leaders and Congress spokespersons. You must have seen that uh, movie, Runaway Bride. 
So Congress is facing a problem like runaway leader. Yesterday, when they, they lost Haryana and they had a pathetic performance in Jammu and Kashmir, the leader should have been there, but he's rather traveling foreign. He's on a foreign tour. Who's going to be at the back of the workers, at the back of the leaders? Who's going to take responsibility? There is no onus. So I really have sympathy for them. As Sujata far as Paul, I'm are you surprised that Rahul Gandhi took as long concerned. as he did we are to in... congratulate workers in Jammu and Kashmir, to post about Haryana, you know, for almost 24 hours? Uh, Ajay Alok is saying that he's traveling abroad. I'm not sure that's the case. But basically, that he was, when, when push came to shove, when the party came under pressure, Rahul Gandhi was missing as a leader. Uh, Rahul Gandhi is not missing as a leader at any cost because he, he has led our campaign and you saw that he carried out uh, his yatra over there and that really gave us uh, a lot of traction also and that is the reason why all the posters, everybody was saying that it's making a difference. So uh, Mr. Ajay Alo comes to know about a lot of things. He will make statements without any proof. And uh, uh, does he have any proof? I don't. Uh, I, I don't seem to uh, want to accuse him of anything. But <laughs> he is making these statements about my leader, which is absolutely wrong. However, I would like to tell him that uh, Mr. Uh, Modi, he wasn't even uh, chosen as the leader of his own party when he went and did a meeting of the NDA leaders to be declared as the prime minister. Okay. So let's not. Get you know, meanwhile, the Congress the is still crying foul over the Haryana start. results. A delegation of Congress leaders, including Bhupinder Singh Hooda and K.C. Venu Gopal, went to the election commission today complaining about battery issues in electronic voting machines. The Congress is questioning counting in at least 13 Haryana constituencies. The EC says it will probe, but EC sources off record tell India today that in the initial investigation, the Congress charges have been found to be unfounded. After every defeat comes the EVM debate. We have received very serious complaints on uh, the process of counting, the functioning of EVMs in at least three districts. Jin machino ki batteries 99 percent thi, un machino mein netija ek aya, hume harane wala netija aya, aur jo machine nahi jinko cheda gaya, jin ki battery 60 70 percent jo swabhavi ke honi chahiye thi. Usme hum jeet rahe hamare candidate. Stunned by the outcome of Haryana election results, the Congress is now crying foul. Breaking his silence after 24 hours, leader of opposition Rahul Gandhi termed the Haryana Assembly results surprising. The Congress knocked on the election commission's doors, listing anomalies observed in the election process. The Grand Old Party has questioned the battery percentage of the EVMs used in several districts, including Mahindragarh, Panipat, and Hisar. तमाम मशीनें जिनके बारे में आज जिक्र किया है, शिकायत की है, उन मशीनों को सील कर दिया जाए, सिक्योर कर दिया जाए, जब तक इसकी जांच पूरी नहीं हो जाती, हमने चुनाव आयोग को ये भी कहा कि अगले 48 घंटे में हम बाकी शिकायतें जो हमारी एकत्रित हो रही हैं हरियाणा प्रदेश कांग्रेस कमेटी के अध्यक्ष उदय भान जी इकट्ठी कर रहे हैं वो तमाम शिकायतें भी हम अगले 48 घंटे में उपलब्ध करा देंगे चुनाव आयोग को और उसके बाद वो सारी मशीनें सिक्योर कर दी जानी चाहिए ताकि उससे कोई छेड़ाछाड़ी न हो सके जब तक जांच पूरी नहीं हो जाती फॉर्मर इलेक्शन कमिश्नर्स डिसमिस्ड कांग्रेस चार्जेस ईवीएम वीवीपैट ये पूरा इक्विपमेंट जो है बाहर की दुनिया से पूरी तरह कटा हुआ है अगर हम कॉर्ड लगा के उसको बिजली से चलाएं तो यह आरोप लगेगा कि साहब यह कॉर्ड लगी हुई थी इसने गड़बड़ करी है चार्ज का डिफरेंस आ जाता है लेकिन उससे उसके वर्किंग पे कोई असर नहीं पड़ सकता हिटिंग आउट प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी स्लैम्ड द ग्रैंड ओल्ड पार्टी फॉर डिफेमिंग द इलेक्शन कमीशन कांग्रेस हर बार यही कोशिश करती है कि हमारी संस्थाओं की निष्पक्षता पर सवाल उठाए उसकी प्रतिष्ठा पर आघात करे कांग्रेस की यही आदत रही कांग्रेस बड़ी बेशर्मी से ऐसी करतूतें करती आ रही मैन ऑफ द आवर नयाब सिंह सैनी टू कॉल्ड आउट द कांग्रेस फॉर क्वेश्चनिंग ईवीएम्स 
जो ईवीएम के ऊपर सवाल उठाने वाले लोग हैं मैंने चार रोज पहले कहा था कांग्रेस इस प्रकार का वातावरण बना रही थी झूठ का वंडर खड़ा कर रही थी कि हम सत्ता के अंदर आ गए हैं दिस इज नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम द कांग्रेस हैज ब्लेम्ड ईवीएम्स फॉर इट्स परफॉर्मेंस In the recent Lok Sabha polls as well, the Congress had raised concerns over EVM's credibility and functioning. Bureau report, India Today. Is a bigger escalation in the West Asia war looming? U.S. President Joe Biden dialed Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The call was to discuss Israel's plans to retaliate against Iran for its October 1st ballistic missile attack. Iran meanwhile has warned Israel again saying even if one missile from Iran hits the target Tehran will hit dozens inside Iran in return Israel strikes Iran's proxies in Lebanon Gaza and Syria An Israeli rocket struck a residential building in Damascus killing over 7 people. The strike demolished three floors of the building in the Mazay neighborhood of the Syrian capital. The debris covered the surrounding areas crushing several cars. Meanwhile, Israel is bombing southern Lebanon relentlessly. Anahu takafnu et mifkedet amodin We struck the intelligence compound in Beirut in Al Daya neighborhood. This is the command center of the head of intelligence, Abu Abdullah Murtada, and we know that Hashem Safiyadin was with him. The results of these strikes are being checked. Hezbollah is trying to conceal information. We will know and update the public. Israeli claim that its strike over the past 24 hours have killed 50 Hezbollah fighters. including six senior commanders what you see right behind me is an apartment which was believed to be the residence of uh, a hezbollah top ranking officer and the uh, israeli air force carried out a strike and destroyed this entire apartment all you see right behind me is the footprint this entire structure was badly demolished there is a fear and uh, there is a trauma there is a concern including in the civilians after their not sure where the bombing will take place next this was believed to be one of the top ranking from the hezbollah and after the air strike most of these people left and this leaving premises deserted this is the south suburban of beirut and india today is at ground zero in an address to the citizens of lebanon netanyahu said the iran backed hezbollah was now weaker than it's been for many many years after the assassination of hassan nasrallah He claimed Israel had killed Nasrallah's likely successor Hashem Safiyadin as well as Safiyadin's presumptive replacement. Hezbollah has turned Lebanon into a stockpile of ammunition and weapons and a forward Iranian military base. We've degraded Hezbollah's capabilities. We took out thousands of terrorists including Nasrallah himself and Nasrallah's replacement and the replacement of his replacement. Today Hezbollah is weaker than it's been for many many years Hezbollah's deputy leader Naim Qasim said the Iran backed group's capabilities were intact and its fighters were pushing back Israeli ground incursions Iran has provided clear and well known support for the resistance in Palestine Lebanon and the region and this is what it is proud of it is an honor and dignity for iran that it is helping the palestinians to regain their rights the conflict in lebanon has escalated dramatically in the recent weeks as israel has carried out a string of assassinations of top hezbollah leaders and launched ground operations into southern lebanon that expanded further this week if four military divisions are at the southern lebanon border shallow raids are being carried out inch by inch the israeli army is moving forward they have a plan and their plan is use their air strikes to completely pulverize the strongholds of the hezbollah first their aim was just the litani river 
now information that's coming in they've sent out messages that people should move north of the awali river in in lebanon which means a larger area is now being cleared for air strikes and missile strikes so that hezbollah strongholds can be removed from southern lebanon and a buffer zone can be created with god of savant in haifa and ashitosh in beirut bureau report india today and i wrap up the news track tonight for your time and your trust thank you very much i look forward to seeing you 8 pm tomorrow evening till then from all of us here goodbye good night